Uh, right, excellent. So, so let's see. What about what about being able to perhaps uh, remove content? Right, perhaps we we the 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 templates uh, all the way on the right hand side. Right, we have some controls. Oops, we might have some controls uh, with an with an X or something that would allow us to remove that uh, uh, that um, uh, element. Right. So, for instance, you might have an an I uh, cl class F, F font awesome uh, uh, F A. Uh, what was it? Remove. I forget. Remove. Oh, was it times? Okay, must be. <laughs> Let's see. Times. No, that didn't work either. Uh, hmm. Is it FA? There we go. Um, okay, uh, so, uh, and uh, we might uh, maybe want to. Uh, pull it all the way to the right hand side so we can say um, was it um, pull or float right is it there we go so we, we float it all the way to the right so it's nicely um, aligned on the right hand side um, all right so so we might we, what we might want to do is is, is is when we click on this somehow we need to be able to distinguish which one do we click Right. Presumably, these are all uh, individual uh, uh, rows, and, and, um, and we need to be able to distinguish between the various rows. So ideally, the, uh, these TDs uh, will have some unique identifier right, that uh, will allow us to identify which one did you click on. Right? Um, and, uh, so, so for instance, ideally, I, I would like to be able to click on this and notify uh, which one I clicked. Uh, so let's, let's do that. Uh, notice that I, I don't have any any event handlers here. It's it's not notifying anybody that, that anything is being clicked. Okay. Uh, what we can do uh, is um, is maybe give it a um, uh, I'll notice. I'm not following my own naming convention, right? All all classes that that uh, we create should be prepended and named uh, so that we don't dist we we can distinguish them as classes that we create or you create or anybody else create. So I'm gonna go with um, the naming convention web dev dash. I just modified here. I need to be able to remember that and go back here and it says web dev dash. Okay. Um, so so we like to be able to you know click on this uh, on this uh, times and remove the, uh, the 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 particular um, movie. All right. Uh, so let's see how how we can do that. So what we can do is is uh, go back to our data type and perhaps. Provide some unique identifier, right, for each one of these movies. So, for instance, this might be ID uh, one two three. This might be ID uh, two three four, and this might be ID three four five. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, as we render them, um, we could uh, just like we modify the the TD, that particular TD, uh, and we change the uh, the movie. We would like to maybe uh, have the um, have this this X when I, when I click on it, notify me back, right? That uh, that a particular a particular uh, um, uh, a particular item was uh, was clicked. Okay, uh, so let's see. What we can do is is perhaps uh, find this 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 I this I, right? And and bind it with a click event. You know, bind it with a click event and notify me that we want to remove this row. Right, so here's the here's a function that we would like to call function delete movie. Okay, and we want to call it when we click on this I. So how do we do that? Uh, so what we could do is just like we found the title here, just like we found the title, we could find also this one over here, right? Just what just like we find this TD, we could find this I if we notify if we somehow a uniquely identify, right? We can say web dev uh, remove movie. Okay, uh, so we can do that. We can find we can find uh, remove movie. We can find this uh, starting with the tr, which was clone. We can find it by class. And what do I call it? Uh, web dev dash remove movie. Okay, 
So now I have, uh, I have this item right here, this eye, this eye right here. See that? Right. I grab that eye, and what, what what can I do with it? I can I can bind it. I can say, hey, dollar sign remove movie, bind a click event, and I want you to notify this function right here, delete movie. Okay, and we'll know that the this works if we have an alert on, you know, delete me. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's refresh, and something didn't work. Let's see. Uh, invalid shorthand. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, ID. Oh, of course. Uh, these are colons, not equals. Sorry, too many languages. Uh, all right, so let's refresh. There we go. So if we click on this X, there we go. So we are indeed clicking, and and then we're notifying this function when we click on this on this X, right? We click on this X. We are calling that, that event handler. Uh, we need to be able to determine, well, which one did you click on? Which one did you click on? Hi, everyone. Jose here. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you.